What's going on guys, this is Miasin, so I'm finally back home, I played at YCS Niagara, I did relatively well, I was 7-1 at the end of day 1, which is actually a really good score, all I had to do was win 1 round out of 2 on day 2, and of course I had to lose both rounds, so yeah, very unfortunate how I was so close to getting that 4th uh, YCS stop, but uh, it is what it is, uh, you live and learn, and uh, half of my opponents almost topped the YCS, so very high caliber of uh, <laughs> opponents that I got. Anyways, I will be reviewing uh, some new cards as well as the OCG ban list and I'll also be back to making more consistent videos because I was so freaking focused on actually practicing for that YCS that I I had to settle on basically only making one video per day which to me is not enough I want to be making two videos per day yes I know I'm crazy anyways before this video starts make sure you like and subscribe check me out on Twitch and Instagram and now let's get right into it all right so these new cards are the chaos cards so I already know what they are but whatever chaos witch level 4 dark spellcaster 1500 attack and defense you can only use one of the two effects per turn only ones that turn just like cyber dragon core unfortunately you can out special summon monsters from the extra deck during the turn you activate either of these effects except except light and dark synchros so that's actually a huge lock you can tribute this card to special summon two black beast tokens level two non-tuners if this card is banished from the hand or grave you can special summon two white beast tuners this time they are tuners it would have been really cool if you could use both effects in the same turn but nah, unfortunately you can't all right, now we have Shell of Chaos, level 4, Dark Machine Spell, um, Special Summon Effect Monster. Uh, so in the OCG, they actually specify that it's a Special Summon Effect Monster, just like the Infernoids, whereas in, T in the TCG, it's not the case. Uh, so yeah, cannot be normal summoner set, must be Special Summoned by a card effect. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's demons per turn. You can banish one Light Monster from your hand or grave, Special Summon this card from the hand. Also, you can now Special Summon the exact same luck as that one. And this is a dark, so yeah, you can banish it from the grave. If this card is special summon, you can target one of your banished Core of Chaos, special summon it, and if this face-up card leaves the field, banish it. All right, this is Core of Chaos, the card that you can special summon back with the uh, Shell of Chaos. So level 2 Light Thunder, ooh, special summon tuner effect monster. Level 2 Thunder, Splite, uh, wink wink. All right, 0 attack, 1600 defense, and again, just like the other one, cannot be normal summoner said, must be special summoned by a card effect. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. You can banish one dark monster from your hand or grave, special summon this card from the hand. And again, the same log, but this time you banish a dark. So you can banish this card and trigger its graveyard effect. So that's actually really cool. If this card is special summon, you can target one of your banished shell of chaos. So this one, special summon back. And if this face-up card leaves the field, banish it. So it's basically the dark counterpart of shell of chaos. Not super good though. Mental tuner, uh, emergency teleport uh, target. You can only use the first effect once per turn. Banish one light and or one dark from your hand or grave and increase or decrease the level by two. No, by the, the number banished uh, until the end of the turn. So you increase or decrease by two if you banish two or increase or decrease by one if you only banish one. Target up to two of your banished monsters, one light and one dark, return them to the grave. And if you do increase this card, yeah, okay, basically the same. And then we have Chaos Mirage Dragon level 4 Light Worm Tuner, 1600 attack and 600 defense. Again, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's demons per turn. You can target one banished light or dark monster special summon it to your field, but its effects are negated. And also the annoying lock again that it would have been so much better if it didn't have that. If this card is sent to the grave as synchro material, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of materials used for the synchro summon, banish them. So it's really nice if you can synchro summon on your opponent's turn to use this as an interruption. So very noteworthy thing with this card. All right, Chaos Archfiend, level 8 Dark Fiend Synchro Effect Monster. The materials are absurd. One Light Tuner and one, one plus non-tuner Dark Monster. Very, very difficult to summon. Very difficult. Gains 2,000 attack during a card or uh, cards or is, is banished. So it can jump to 45 very easily. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls at once each. Also, each monster destroyed with this card is banished instead of going to the grave. So it's kind of like a Conductor Tyranno. If this card is in, in its owner's control, leaves the field by their opponent. You can special summon one Chaos Synchro monster from your extra deck, except Chaos Archfiend. You can summon Chaos Ruler, but it won't trigger its effect because I think it has to be on Synchro Summon. Uh, Chaos Beast, it has to. Level 6 Dark Fiend Synchro effect, 2016, uh, 1800 defense. One light, again, same material, very easy, uh, very hard to summon. You can only use the second and third effect of this card's demons per turn. So this is very similar to the first effect, but you only gain 1,000 instead of 2. Uh, you can target one of your banished light or dark monsters, add it to your hand. That's actually really cool. You can uh, recycle back your banished Veilers, banished DD Crows, and, and stuff like that. Really neat. If yeah, this card is in your grave, except during the turn it was sent there, you can banish one light and one dark monster from your grave and, regra uh, and from your hand and your grave special summon this card. Not bad. I want to say this card is probably a little better than this because this looks a little worse and it's a going second only card. Whereas this can have utility both going first and second. But 
especially going first because you can recycle back cards, you can revive back this card. So it's just, to me, a little better. And finally, Chaos Phantasm, normal trap card, target two of your banished monsters that have a level, one light tuner and one level eight or lower dark non-tuner. Return both of them to the grave, then special summon one light or dark synchro monster from your extra deck, whose, level, whose levels equal those monstrous total levels. Yeah, very uh, gimmicky. All right, and now we have an evil eye support, uh, monster and a spell card. But at the same time, do you really want me to review these cards? Ah, sure, why not? Uh, free bonus for you guys. Basil Triss, Familiar of the Evil Eye, level 3 Dark Fiend, 1,000 and 2,000. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If this card is in your hand or grave and you control an Evil Eye monster quick effect, you can special summon this card, but banish it if it, if it leaves the field. Alright, okay. Not too bad, but I don't think this is really what Evil Eye asked for. During your opponent's turn, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves. Link summon one Evil Eye monster you control as uh, you control uh, yeah, using materials you control. <laughs> when you do, you can treat, e treat Evil Eye equipped spells you control as Evil Eye monsters and use them as material. That's actually really freaking spicy. I love that. And now the spell card, Evil Eye Resurrection. You can only use the first and second effect that this card's name once per turn. Send one Evil Eye monster and one Evil Eye spell or trap from the deck to the grave. That is a cost. Wow, that is a crazy foolish burial effect, sending two cards. Add one Evil Eye Equip spell from your deck to your hand, also for the rest of the turn. Each time you activate a non-Evil Eye card or effect, you lose 500 life points. You don't take damage, you lose life points. If you Link Summon an Evil Eye monster, you can banish this card from the grave. Equip one Evil Eye Equip spell from your grave to one Evil Eye Link monster you control. It's alright, it's not super broken, but it's alright, and you get back your money when uh, you use your... Uh, Equip spell as material. All right, now we have the OCG ban list, which is what you guys have been waiting for. Because of the fact that I'm so late, though, you guys probably already know what which cards got hit. Anyways, for Forbidden, we have Wandering Griffin Rider and Union Carrier. Again, this is in the OCG. So Griffin Rider getting banned me means that if you want to play the Brave Token engine, you either have to use them as like Synchro or Link Climb material or Board Breaker with the Equip spell and Ill Illegal Knight, but it no longer is like a Omni Negate to like protect yourself from uh, Nibiru and stuff like that. It's still a very, very good engine. It's just not as degenerate as it used to be, which I want to say it's probably the healthiest card to hit in the whole, the whole package. And Union Carrier is a, is a huge nerf to Splite because they can no longer Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. So the deck looks very, very weak right now. All right, for Limited, <laughs> Swab Frog Limited. So even more of a hit to the deck, even though that didn't matter because it was just a two of anyways. So losing one copy of Swab Frog really doesn't change much. Losing one to two Agidos and one to two Keldos also doesn't hurt that much. So it changes nothing because the deck is still going to be overpowered. This really is irrelevant. Splite just getting hit to one is also a pretty big hit i will say it's actually way bigger than swap frog but uh yeah it's it's gonna hurt a lot herald of orange light to one doesn't even change that much to be honest it's just like a bonus but it's not like a part of the core strategy yata garasu to one so they're finally unbanning the card terra laments field spell so the card is a four of because of terraforming however if you have to play one terraforming with one field spell and you mail the field spell but you draw terraforming it's dead so if you want that field spell to be usable you might need another field spell or something with terraforming. I, I don't know. May maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things wrong. But yeah, the field spell to one actually does hurt quite a bit. It hurts way more than I want to say Agido to one. Or um, th this is Agido. Or like Keldo to one. So this is like the biggest hit for tier elements up until now. But it still doesn't kill the deck. It it's still a very good deck even with only two field spells, quote unquote. All right, Splite Starter. I want to say Splite is unplayable now. I'm sorry. One starter, one jet, and zero union carrier with zero toad in the OCG, one billion percent unplayable. Tier Laments is gonna be even more degenerate than it already is because their competition got heavily nerfed, heavily crippled, but they didn't get nerfed that much. Uh, Flunderies and the Magnificent Map, yeah, no, this is bad for Flunderies, very bad. It really, really requires this card because it's extremely inconsistent compared to like everything else. So when you hit the consistency of Flunderies even more, it is uh, really not what they want to see. <laughs> so now if you MS tier their field spell, they're basically playing very weak Yu-Gi-Oh of if you have Valor, you always beat me. Yeah, that's that's bad. Time Seal, who cares? Semi-limited ABC Dragon Buster. I, I think this was at 1 before, so that's an upgrade. Double Iris Magician, also an upgrade. Water Enchantress. I think this is also an upgrade because they're banning Griffin Rider anyway, so might as well give them back the Water Enchantress. Hafina Semi-Limited. This is good. I mean, this should have been limited because of the fact that it's so broken, 
but semi-limiting the card is not going to be changing that much. The shifter, this card is complete cancer. <laughs> it's so overpowered. I'm gonna make like a video dedicated to T shifter very soon. It's so ridiculous. Uh, Torn skills, lightning storm. What the hell? This is kind of whack. I mean, Torn skills is going from one to two, if I recall correctly, because Phantom Knights was way too good in the OCG and lightning storm. Uh, that's just whack. I don't, I don't really get it. All right, unlimited Gen X Ally Birdman. I don't think you can do the infinite loop anymore, so who cares? Uh, Jackalope going from two to three. Well, uh, I think, I, yeah, I think that you could have two Jackalope in the OCG. It's not like in the TCG. Again, I could be wrong. Anyways, Spiral Resort, it doesn't change anything because Maxi is a thing. So Spiral, even if they have way more cards than us, it's not good enough. Widow Anchor going from two to three, very interesting. But Mystic Mine is banned over there. So it's fine if you can give Sky Striker just a little bit, a little bit more gas. They have two engage, but only one Kigari. So it really is not like they could compete with this deck without Mystic Mine. And finally, Magical Meltdown, which is very fair. Uh, you can give Invoked all the cards in the world, and it's still not as good as the Tier 1 decks out there. So Exorcist indirectly got hit with Shifter going from 3 to 2. But apart from that, their competition is so much worse that I can absolutely imagine Exorcist being extremely good now. Second best deck in the OCG? Why not? Absolutely, I can definitely see that. Because all you have to do as an Exorcist player is tech like crazy to, be to beat the um, Tier Laments deck. And I think it might be the best anti-meta deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. But I truly believe that because of Splite Starter, Splite Jet, and Swafra getting limited, as well as Union Carry getting banned, uh, Splite is simply no longer worth playing if you are in the OCG. Uh, this is way too much for a deck that really couldn't even be as good as Tier Laments. Even with all those cards being a 3. So yeah, I'm sorry, but don't play Splite anymore in the OCG. And in the TCG, like I said, you either play Exorcist or you play Tier Laments. It really depends on the competition. That's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the OCG ban list? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.